Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerding Dummies. I got so many requests from you guys to make something from The 100. For those of you who aren't familiar with The 100, it is a sci-fi story that I have never missed an episode of. I absolutely love this series. And without giving too many details, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Clark, one of the main characters and the other humans on Earth, encounter these little microchips. I won't say what they do. Well, okay, I'll tell you what they do. So if you don't want to spoil it, stop listening now. When you take the little microchip, it basically connects you to a hive mind. You become assimilated. So Clark is trying to stop everyone from taking these, but everyone's eating them like candy and it got me thinking. They should be a candy! So today we are going to be making the little microchips into mint candies. Let's get started! The recipe that we're going to be making today is a minty hard candy. Yum 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 yum! The things you will need will be half a cup of isomalt, one eighth teaspoon of mint extract, two tablespoons of distilled water, white candy melts, and blue candy melts and some small hexagon molds. I found these ones online. I liked them because they were individual and they were about the right size and if you can't find small hexagon molds online you can make your own at home. I'll put a link down below to an episode where I made my own homemade mold. All you'll need is a small hexagon shaped item. Now let's put it all together. This hard candy recipe is super easy mode. You don't need to prepare it over the stove. We're just going to be using the microwave. The first thing that you're going to do is pour all of the isomalt into the distilled water. And the reason I'm using isomalt instead of sugar is because when you're making hard candies with sugar this way, when they set, they tend to turn a light tan color because the sugar starts to caramelize. And in the show, the microchips are clear. And I really wanted them to look the same. Okay, we're gonna pour them in. Ooh. Now we're gonna heat this in the microwave for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I'm gonna stir and then I'm gonna keep heating up our mixture in 30 second intervals in the microwave until it's fully melted. Be sure to mix in between each turn. It usually takes about two minutes to complete. Probably need to go in the microwave four times. Just took my syrup mixture out of the microwave for the last time and as you can see, it is completely clear and it's very hot so still be careful. You don't wanna stick your finger in there. Now we are gonna pour in our mint extract for flavoring. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Now using the lollipop stick again, I'm just gonna mix it together. Our hard candy mixture is all ready and in front of me I've got our hexagon molds that I've placed onto a cookie sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper so that if I spill, it will be a really easy cleanup. Before you pour this into each mold, give it a little stir and a little tap to get out the air bubbles. Now we're gonna fill up each mold about halfway. I'm gonna give it a little stir in between each pour. The reason I'm filling them halfway is just personal preference. In the show, they're about that thin, so I'm just trying to match that. But if you wanted to fill each one to the top, that's up to you, that's okay too. Next thing that we're gonna do is let these sit out for a couple hours to harden. You don't need to put them in the refrigerator or anything, you can just let them sit here at room temperature. Once our candies have hardened, now we're gonna pop them out. I love using silicone molds because they're pretty easy to work with. Just loosen the sides, boop, 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 and pop them out. Our hard candies are ready, and now it is time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. To decorate, we're gonna be using the blue and white candy melts. I'm gonna be mixing them together and melting them together to make a lighter blue. This part is optional. I just wanted them to look exact, and I didn't have a lighter blue. If you do have a lighter blue at home that is the right color, use that. I'm adding more blue than I am white because I just want it a little lighter. I'm just gonna mix it together and then heat these up in the microwave. Once the candy melts are melted, I just scooped them into a little plastic baggie with a number one tip at the end for a little bit more control. The microchips have a design on the top. It's an infinity sign, which kind of looks like a sideways eight. So you're just gonna pipe that on the top of each mint candy. Ta-da! Here are the microchip mints that we made today. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting something from the 100. These are adorable. They look just like the ones from the show. Look at this, you guys. It's like the perfect size and everything. These are a great idea for like a little after dinner mint or if you are throwing yourself a The 100 viewing party, which I may be doing because I love the show. I'll be posting the pictures and the recipe on rosanapancino.com 
Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you guys make these treats, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. And if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye. And now I'm gonna have one for me. Mm, mm, mm. Uh-oh. Just kidding. No assimilating.